What's good, JD fam? Welcome back to another lit video. You did, dig, dig. If this your first time ever watching our channel, make sure you press that subscribe button right now. Today we have some exciting plans. We've decided to finally start working on our backyard. Ooh. The first couple months of living here, we were just trying to like adjust, unpack yeah. the holidays. We had a lot going on, yeah. but now that we have had a chance to adjust, we're like, it's time to go and start on this backyard because Summer's about to be here any minute and yep. we don't want to be forced to be cooped up in the house. Right now it's cool because it's so cold outside. Yeah. But you know, once that warm weather comes around, we want to have some activities to Ooh, do out there. It's going to be lit guys. We have so much planned for the backyard. Um, I think first what we're going to do is put a basketball court. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, yeah. we got we to gotta get them buckets out there. And then we are going to do First, like, well, at the same that. time, <laughs> at the same time we're doing the basketball court, we're going to extend the patio and do like a little bit of other things. But I so think. So first we're doing the cement work and yeah. the grass. Yeah. Basically. But I think at the same time, so like right now we actually came to this place. They're closed right now. And they have like a whole bunch of like playground stuff and all that stuff to create a playground. So we want to do something like that. So, you know, Cole is getting older. He's starting to run around and he can run outside and just play on the playground. This is so cute. We drove like 20 something minutes away, you guys. And it's, and closed. it's closed today. Only two days out of the week it's closed. And today happens to be the. Oh, I'm zooming in. What am I doing? Hello. Hi. Okay, let's show you guys these cute playgrounds. All right, y'all. So. That's like one of the little portions. The gate's closed to get in, but they have a whole bunch of stuff in the back. And you know what I'm saying? We're looking for like a playground like that. And just that's to, like a good size. Yeah, that's like ones, perfect but. size, but to add like maybe a little bit more stuff around. And we're going to be doing like all the like hard work kind of by ourselves, like putting the beauty bark down and all that stuff. Because I feel like that'll be a fun yeah. little. We're also going to be getting a little like house like that, like a shed thing. Yeah because we're gonna turn one of those into an outdoor, well, a gym, but like outside of our house, its own little house, it's gonna be so cute. I think we're gonna get a cuter one than that though. Really the whole reason why we even came today is because we wanted to get one of those little shed things. We're yeah. probably gonna go to another place next because we really, really wanna get one like possibly this week yeah, within this the next week couple or days. Next week or something yeah, like that. Even today because, if we really find one. Yeah, for real. If they if they can deliver it today and they wanna come to the house or even if we get a good deal or whatever, we'll buy it now and they can deliver whenever. Because your but, girl needs to start working out. Yeah, we wanna really get like in the gym and start, you know what I'm saying, being a lot more healthier and drinking more water and you know what I'm saying, be more active. And with the shed, we get like the whole say so of how we want to convert the gym, what weights we want to have in there, if we want to have treadmills, we want to have all this stuff in there. So it's like a fun process for us and we're going to bring you guys along the whole way, like creating our whole backyard. It's going to be like a resort style backyard. We got the gym, basketball court, pool. We got the little, you know what I'm saying, outdoor kitchen for her when we outside chilling, hooping. You're the outdoor cook. Ooh, it's gonna me. be, it's gonna be a vibe, guys. You guys don't even know, like our Wait, visuals. Did you see that behind the playground? Yeah, like the. the it's a, it's one of those outdoor fireplace things. Yeah, hey, we see, cute. we got a lot of stuff that we got planned. It sucks that they're closed today, but it's all good. We'll come back like next week or something. Yeah, um, we're gonna just check out some other places though, because we should go yeah. to the place that has more sheds. Yeah, there's a place that has a lot of sheds that we can convert and a lot of you guys are probably gonna be like why are you guys trying to get a shed and this and that this and that it's not like a regular yeah shed. it's not like a regular shed it's like a outdoor outhouse type thing yeah that we're gonna convert into a whole yeah. gym a lot of people in texas have them like almost every house has one of these huge yeah. sheds that look like an extra house so that's what we want it's the most like I feel like cost effective way to build yeah, a big gym for, for sure. us. And it looks dope too. Yeah, and it looks, it's like there's cute ones. And it's cool because like, you know what I'm saying? You can do a lot of hands-on stuff to make it, you know, a memorable experience for us. Like this is like we're gonna be creating he a gym. He swears he's really gonna we're build gonna it. We're gonna be himself. creating a gym. Like I'm dead ass. I'm he gonna still be hasn't in even there put up our curtains that he, that he wanted. That's because she said she wanted to get other curtains. You guys, we went to the store to get curtains, right? And Julius, if you don't know him, he's very impatient. So they didn't really have any that I liked or that fit the house nice, but he was like, oh, like, let's just get them all today. We need to get them all today. We don't have any curtains. So then I'm like, fine. So then I just choose some curtains that I don't even really like that much and that are really too short to be honest, but we just got them anyways. It's been a month and a half 
if not longer. He still hasn't put up the curtains. Nah, but I'm gonna put him up though. Like, I could have ordered some really cute ones soon. by then. I'm gonna put him up, babe. Don't worry. All right, y'all. So we made it to our next place that has the sheds and everything. And this place has like a big variety of selections and stuff that we can choose from. So let me show you guys all these little sheds and stuff. I'm gonna give you guys like a tour of the inside and kind of give you guys like our design of how we want to do the gym and stuff. First, we got my baby looking right, right here. Okay, it didn't go crazy. So we got a big shed over there, which is way, way, way too big. That's for like a car garage type thing. This is for like an outhouse that's too small. Then you come over here. So this is one that we're kind of interested in. Um, not that one, this one right here. It's like probably 12 by, I don't even know. Probably actually this one's probably like 24 by 48 feet or something like that. We don't want it too, too big. Let me show you guys what the inside looks like. You know what I'm saying? So it's real like empty and plain on the inside. You know what I'm saying? We'll have to add like, you know, the walls and stuff against the whole entire thing but it's cool though because you have the windows right here that you you know what i'm saying you can open when you're working out you can put like speakers on the ceiling you got a nice entryway right here i really think something like this could be like the perfect thing for the gym you know what i'm saying there's gonna be a lot of work that we're gonna have to put in on the inside of this but i think it'll be dope like i think that we can do the flooring super crazy super nice we can do the walls. We can put mirrors all along the wall so while you're working out, you can watch yourself work out. So this is pretty nice. The only thing that we'll have to do is paint the outside because the outside does not match our house at all. So this is option one right here that we just left. Now we're going to option two. This one's a little bit smaller. Actually not even a little bit smaller. It's actually a lot smaller. Um, it has a whole different door. It's kind of like a real outdoor shed type vibe. It's a lot smaller, actually. But you know what I'm saying? This, this could still work, to be honest. Like, it's not as big. You don't have like a actual door to enter. This would actually be dope because you can open this whole thing right here, have like an indoor, outdoor workout session. You know what I'm saying? Like you could put the weights, the bench and stuff over there, put a mirror right here, put some more like treadmills and stuff right there. I don't know. This one, this one could be an option too. What do you guys think? You guys comment below and let us know what you guys think. So that's option two. And this is option three. This is kind of similar to option one, but it's a little bit smaller, I believe. Let's go in here and see. Actually, you know what? I think this is the same. This is the same as option one. So this is, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna be option. Look, it even comes with keys and everything. Yeah, this one might be the one. I really think this is the one right here. I'm not gonna lie. The first option might be the one. Oh, I didn't even see this one. This one just had to be painted a whole different color because this is like an actual barn color. Let's go in here and see what this one's looking like. Ooh, this one got, okay. We got a little bit of storage in here. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. It's looking like Ronald McDonald Playhouse. Yeah, I know, babe. We have to paint this one. I'm telling you guys, she's gonna like option one because it's spacious, it has windows, it has an actual door. Huh, you like that one? Thumbs up? I knew you were gonna like that one. So we got this one right here. This one's kind of similar to option two. Yeah, this one's pretty small, not super big. Yeah, this is the same as option two. And then all of the rest of the sheds, they're pretty small. They all look like I don't even know, like a car or nothing can really fit in there, like probably a bicycle or something. So these ones are all out of the equation right here. So it's really up to option one. And if Destiny likes option two, then that could be a possibility as well. Maybe something like this would be perfect. And it's cute. Wait, right, option, so this one. This one, and they're kind of the same. In yeah, they're, I think they're the same. They're the exact same, but just different, different colors, like, like a different color. Better. Yeah, I like this color better too. But I we think all, we, we would paint it, babe. Also to match our house. Yeah, that, well, that's what I was thinking that we would do is paint it. So 
All right, guys, so you guys might be looking at our new gym right here. Obviously, this is not gonna be the gym right here. We're gonna, you know what I'm saying, customize it, make it look super nice mirrors and elegant. Inside, yeah, mirrors, everything. Change the flooring, probably change the ceiling, put yeah, walls in. Are these like weight bearing, like they can hold all the weight of, a, of gym equipment? Definitely, babe. You never know. For sure, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna make sure it does. We're gonna get it right though. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, y'all, so I'm about to go inside and see how quick we can get this. Honestly, this will be a super fun project to start working on, painting the inside, painting the outside, putting walls in, putting floors in, just everything. Super hands-on, and it'll be super fun. So let me go in here and see if we can get this one. The camera's about to die, so we might not be able to talk to you guys until we get home. So we'll see you guys when we get to the crib. Let's get it. Hopefully, we can get this. So we just got back home. I actually was able to talk to the guy. Um, he was already kind of like working with somebody else when we got there, so I didn't get to talk to him too much, but he did give me his number and everything, and he did say that he has some available. So I think we're gonna buy one um, that we like because the prices were actually pretty good, but we're gonna see if we can get a little bit better price because I'm not gonna lie, we called some other places and the pricing is a little bit higher, but they're way nicer. So, you know what I'm saying? We just wanna make sure we get the best deal and we make it look the best for our backyard because our backyard is our place that we, you know what I'm saying, we are gonna be living at. So first things first, obviously you guys can see it's literally all dirt, so we have a clean slate. But you know what I'm saying? There's some other areas that we have to get leveled out and stuff. But the basketball court is for sure going in the back corner. And then there's going to be like a little lounge area going from there. And then that little shed thing that we're planning on getting is going to go like right here. So it's going to kind of be connecting to the basketball court. So like while you're playing basketball, you can go work out or you can be working out while other people are playing basketball and vice versa. And then in the back of the house, you see the patio only goes out to right there, which is not far at all. So we plan on actually bringing the patio out probably about 20 to 25 feet, probably like around like right here and we're gonna get like it covered in a whole outdoor kitchen and stuff and then it's gonna go down like some stairs and then the pool is gonna be right in the middle and then in the back corner over there is gonna be like a little playground for like the kids and stuff and then i think up here in like this little area right here we're gonna make like a vegetable garden or something like that this is super super exciting for us guys like we have always dreamed about having a super big and sanctuary type backyard so we don't have to ever leave home and that's kind of like what we're gonna be doing. So it's nice to feel like, you know what I'm saying? All the hard work that we've been putting in and stuff is finally coming to life because our backyard is about to be started. And first things first, we gotta have health as well. So you know what I'm saying? We gotta put that gym. So hopefully we can get the gym delivered by next week or the week after so we can start renovating and getting the gym all up to date and looking nice so we can give you guys a tour. We got Coco right here, looking fresh in his kids only apparel. Dang, daddy, you looking fresh, boy. You looking fresh in your kids only apparel. You're crazy, man. You're crazy, looking fresh in your kids only apparel. Oh yeah, I wasn't away from this crazy man. You looking fresh in your kids only apparel, though, Bubba's. <laughs> Tell them we got some new releases coming, Bubba's. We got new releases. So this right here is Kids Only Apparel. Um, we do got like a whole bunch of new releases coming very soon. So make sure you guys go shop the website. It's always in the description. Oh, you want me to blow bubbles? I'm gonna blow bubbles? Okay, I will. I don't know what it is, but Koa loves when I'm blowing bubbles. Look. Big one. <laughs> This one's not that good, Daddy. You gotta get the red one. This one lets you blow like three bubbles at a time. Oh, never mind, here we go. Woo! Go He loves bubbles. We hope you guys are as excited as us to start our journey on our backyard because we have some crazy plans, right, babe? We do. Ooh, it's gonna be so exciting. We're gonna be filming the whole process and documenting the whole inside of our gym and the whole everything. So stay tuned. 
But on that note, we're going to end the video right here. We love you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.